Greetings fellow gamers, Hogwarts Legacy emerged as a standout in the gaming scene of 2023, securing its position as the one of the most significant releases. Warner Bros. officially confirmed its success, revealing a remarkable 22 million copies sold. In a gaming landscape filled with exceptional titles, Hogwarts Legacy managed to shine as a prime example of how licensed game can be executed flawlessly. This success not only contributed to the game's popularity, but also catapulted its developer Avalanche Software into mainstream recognition. Today we'll delve into the latest developments in the world of Hogwarts Legacy and Harry Potter gaming, providing a comprehensive overview of the news. Let's get started. Warner Bros. recently disclosed that Hogwarts Legacy has surpassed the 22 million copies sold mark, potentially earning it the title of the best-selling game of the entire year. This achievement marked a departure from the norm, where Rockstar Games or the latest Call of Duty installment typically claimed the top spot. What makes Hogwarts Legacy's success even more noteworthy is that it achieved this record as a brand new intellectual property. Surprisingly, reports suggest that Warner Bros. initially had modest expectations for Hogwarts Legacy's sales. The final figures however, exceeded their projections by more than double. This remarkable success underscores the importance of respecting and investing care into a beloved intellectual property, rather than rushing a project for quick financial gains. Certainly, Hogwarts Legacy is not without its flaws and areas for improvement. Especially in anticipation of a potential sequel, it is hailed as a fantastic game that rightfully earned its success. The hope is that other game publishers take note of this triumph and approach their licensed games with a similar level of dedication and attention. The success of Hogwarts Legacy also raised expectations for other projects, such as the upcoming Indiana Jones games from Xbox and Machine Games. As of now, Hogwarts Legacy stands as a potential best-selling game of 2023, with only The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom posing a potential challenge. However, with Nintendo yet to confirm sales numbers for Zelda, Hogwarts Legacy remains the frontrunner. Even if Zelda were to surpass it, securing the second spot is a commendable achievement. In a recent interview with Variety, WB Interactive Entertainment president David Harad shared intriguing insights into the future direction of the publisher and outlined their overarching goals. Harad expressed immense pride in Hogwarts Legacy, emphasizing that the success went beyond mere unit sales. He highlighted the game's ability to captivate and delight fans by bringing the Harry Potter universe to life in a fresh and immersive way. According to Haddad, the achievement of becoming the best-selling game of the year globally is particularly noteworthy, as this position is traditionally dominated by established sequel games. He credited the resonance to the dedicated efforts of the Avalanche team, who aimed to create an experience where gamers could truly be themselves within the world and story of Harry Potter. In the interview, Harad also revealed that another team within Warner Bros. is actively working on an upcoming Quidditch game. He expressed excitement about sharing this project with fans, especially given the passionate Harry Potter fanbase that has emerged in the gaming world. The interview shed light on Warner Bros. shifting stance towards the Harry Potter IP, acknowledging the period of relative neglect during the 2010s, particularly after the completion of the original movie series, Harad noted that the company had attempted to sustain the franchise. However, he acknowledged the series' struggle to maintain public interest and box office success. During this time, Warner Bros. scaled back on new Harry Potter merchandise and projects, raising concerns about the IP's dormancy. Hogwarts Legacy greenlit in 2017 and officially revealed in 2020, faced skepticism and challenges, especially with the backdrop of the company's apparent withdrawal from the Harry Potter universe. Despite this, Avalanche successfully navigated these hurdles, leading to the game's remarkable success. Following the triumph of Hogwarts Legacy, Warner Bros. has renewed its commitment to the Harry Potter IP. Beyond the game, there are confirmed plans for an HBO series adaptation and potentially new movies, in addition to expansions at the Wizarding World theme parks. While Hogwarts Legacy was not the sole catalyst, insiders and analysts believe its monumental success played a pivotal role in reinvigorating Warner Bros.'s dedication to the beloved franchise. Expectations are high for a wave of a new Harry Potter projects to be announced over the next two years, with many attributing these developments directly to the game's unprecedented success. When considering the future of Harry Potter games, there's already a glimpse into the exciting possibilities that lie ahead. Quidditch Champions has caught the attention of players, presenting the potential to become one of the most significant life services games globally, provided it is handled appropriately. The game has the capacity to offer a dynamic and engaging experience, especially with its life service model. Additionally, the gaming community has been buzzing with rumors about Harry Potter MMO in development. Another intriguing speculation results around the Harry Potter horror 
horror game. While skepticism exists regarding Warner Bros. signing off on a horror-themed game in Harry Potter universe, credible sources have previously leaked accurate information about the franchise. It's possible that the horror game might explore a darker and more mature side of the wizarding world, distinct from the tone set by Hogwarts Legacy. Speaking of Hogwarts Legacy, a sequel is confirmed to be in works, and is set to be built on Unreal Engine 5, promising a visually stunning experience. While the reveal might still be a few years away, it's a tantalizing prospect for fans. Warner Bros. renewed focus on the Harry Potter and Wizarding World IP is undoubtedly positive news for gamers. In addition to live service offerings like Quidditch Champions and potential mobile projects, the prospect of quality single-player games is particularly exciting. The mention of Hogwarts Legacy sequel is promising, and the idea of exploring a mature and darker narrative, possibly even a horror-themed game, adds an intriguing layer to the future of Harry Potter gaming. I would love to see a Harry Potter game allows players to take on the role of the villain. This concept, akin to the freedom to choose between being a Jedi or a Sith in Star Wars games, offers the opportunity to craft a unique experience. Imagine in a game where players can be the ultimate dark wither and embrace the path of darkness. While Warner Bros. has shown a renewed commitment to the Harry Potter IP and expressed enthusiasm for the success of Hogwarts Legacy, recent statements from the company and Avalanche Software haven't indicated a significant move towards developing a DLC. The focus appears to be on delivering new projects, rather than expanding on existing ones. From a WB perspective, the eagerness to bring fresh content to the market may take precedence over adding on to the already purchased Hogwarts Legacy. While the possibility of a DLC is not entirely ruled out, it seems unlikely to be high on the priority list, especially with the Hogwarts Legacy sequel already in the works. The shift to Unreal Engine 5 by Avalanche Software is another factor that might influence the timeline for potential additional content. Adapting to a new game engine takes time and resources, which could divert attention away from immediate DLC development. It's essential for fans to manage their expectations regarding a DLC for Hogwarts Legacy. While it may not be on the horizon in the near term, the confirmation of future projects and the commitment to the Harry Potter universe offer promising prospects for exciting new content and experiences in the wizarding world. The potential sequel and other projects in the pipeline suggest that there is much to look forward to, even if a DLC for Hogwarts Legacy may not be at the forefront of current plans. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more news and developments in the world of Harry Potter gaming. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more magical content, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until next time, stay safe!